Well, what is going on, everyone? Welcome back to Kitchen Table TCG. My name is Louie. Today, we are going to talk about the value booster packs for Bloomboro. Uh, this announcement of their value packs blew my mind absolutely crazy. Um, but I want to talk about, I want to give a different perspective than I've seen on the internet. I, I agree that these are going to be bad. I want to start off the video there. This is going to be bad. There's a lot to say about that. I think Wizards is going to come out and price these too high. I think they're going to be $4 packs. Um, but I want to talk about the idea behind value packs and why there might be a future for them in the future, although I don't think Bloomberg is on. Let's start off by this. This is how we have our packs set up at Game Grove at the LGS that I own. I don't know what the best way to show you this is. Uh, we've got all sorts of packs. Uh, we sell a ton of packs. We just do everything. We've got a ton of packs, huge selection for people. And it's great to have a huge selection of options at different price points for people. In fact, we have my favorite thing here is the $3 packs right at our, uh, at our checkout. We have a little box and this is just from a, a fat pack bundle thing. I know you can't call them fat packs anymore, but I do anyway. Um, you've got the, the $3 packs and right now I'm going to crack open a box of infinity to restock just to show you that it doesn't matter that people buy packs at three bucks. Infinity, unsellable at four dollars. I I could have this box of Infinity right there for th four dollar packs. Nobody would buy them. I promise you, nobody would buy them. But as soon as I put Infinity or any set up for three dollars, this little thing ends up moving probably about a box a day in packs. And I know that you don't believe me. But the comment section, people from Game Grove, well, I'm sure comment and be like, I love $3 packs. It's fun to add on a thing. And this is what I want to talk about with the value booster packs. Let me find a spot here for you. This is what I want to talk about with the value booster packs is um, that this is a terrible spot. I want to talk about the idea that at $2.50 or at $3.00. These are a great, great deal. This is going to work really well if they are priced at $2.50 or $3. As soon as they price these over that $3.99, $4, that's where the mistake is with the value packs. And I almost guarantee you these are going to be $3.99 at, at stores. And that's a mistake. But if Wizards were to come out with a $4 booster pack, sorry, with a $2.50 booster pack or a $3 pack or a $2 pack, and put those in at the, at uh, Target and at Walmart and at the dollar store. Like, first off, Bloomboro would be the perfect set to do that because Bloomboro is these cute creatures um, that has a, a lot of accessibility for new players. I think uh, Bloomboro is the perfect opportunity for a value booster pack. I think that's a great thing. I think in typical Wizards of the Coast fashion, though, they're going to get too greedy. This could be a seven pack guaranteed rare thing for four bucks. That would be one way to do it. That's basically just a draft pack though. And, and I don't understand they're trying to get rid of SKUs. They're trying to simplify their product line. And then they do all the stuff that doesn't simplify their product line. But if they put out seven pack, seven cards in a pack at two bucks, and this was at Target, they would sell an unbelievable amount of these packs two dollars and fifty cents an unbelievable amount of these packs because people enjoy just ripping open things the average magic fan would buy them just to be able to volume rip a you know a box at 250 uh, to be able to volume rip 60 packs for 120 bucks like people would enjoy that they would really really enjoy that they want a cheaper product uh, to just enjoy the opening of magic. There was a um, a Pokemon pack in the dollar stores a while back ago. Uh, and people, there was no good hits in it. You couldn't get, you weren't walking away with the alt arts and with the good hits and with the stuff. But you, people just enjoy opening up Pokemon. People just enjoy opening up, ripping open packs. And at $2.50, that would have been a lot of fun to do. But Wizards is going to come out with these at four bucks and they've completely missed the point that that under three dollars, people go crazy just for the joy of ripping packs. This is why we have the three dollar pack thing, because people just enjoy adding on a couple packs with, you know, if they buy a drink or they buy something else, a, a commander deck that at the checkout, a three dollar pack, they're like, oh, yeah, three bucks. It means nothing. But as soon as you're over $4, you're into that range of like you round it up to five. It, it feels like actual money. 
Um, and so the value boosters, I think, are kind of a good thought to have something at a dollar store for kids, to have something at the checkout line for, you know, for adults, I think is a good thought. I'm not sure how much it moves the needle for Wizards of the Coast, right? I'm, I'm not sure they need to do it or whatever. Um, but uh, as the set pack increases in price, which it's doing, having a cheaper pack is, a, I think, a good idea. But $4 isn't going to be that thing. $4 is too expensive. $4 is what we used to pay for a draft pack right a, a full plaque that you could play the game with that you could enjoy that you could um that you could actually get you know value ironically out of and so i think the biggest thing with the value packs comes down to what is the price point wizards is apparently aware that they have outpriced people in this game in terms of people who want to enjoy opening packs that tells me that they are aware that the set box price and that the set pack price at a Walmart and at a Target of $7 or $6 or whatever has priced people out from enjoying opening packs. I, I don't think that they are aware that $4 for nothing is not worth it for people. And that this is going to be a bad, this is going to look like theme boosters. No one's going to buy it because it's too expensive. It says value, but it will be too expensive. If Wizards wasn't greedy, this would be a, a thing that they look at to grow the game in a wider way at the $2 price point. And maybe they don't make a lot of money off it. But frankly, they're not going to make a lot of money off of the $4 price point either. They're, they're just not. It's just not going to sell that many of these. The people who buy this is going to be like your grandma who thinks that you want it. And the I, the sad part of that is that you're going to have to talk to your grandma and be like, thanks for this value pack, grandma. Like, it's just not going to work. Um, it, the average Magic fan's not going to want these. But at 250 they would. And so Wizards is aware of this price issue. Now the question is, if they, if they put these out and they fail, will they lower the price moving forward or will they just get rid of this product altogether? And I think the odds are that they just get rid of this product altogether. So I think this is going to end up being kind of a nothing. Um, but I wanted to come out and say, the negativity towards these, I think is warranted but i do think that there is a space for a very cheap booster pack uh that has seven cards i think that the, i think the idea that they came up with is actually good because i think magic has a space for that it's just going to be the execution and the greed and we don't know the price yet maybe i'm wrong i'll be the first to admit it if i'm wrong if these are two dollar fifty cents packs i'm gonna buy a lot of them because people are going to really want to open them we're going to sell a ton of these at two dollar fifty cents but Wizards isn't going to do that, and that's the point. So let me know what you're thinking about the value packs. Um, I think it would be cool to have, like, a product like that. Like, at some point, I'll run out of draft boxes. The $3 pack thing is because nobody was ever buying draft packs, and I needed to move boxes. And if you do the math, $3 a pack, 36 packs, that's 90, that's 100 and some dollars. I don't know, it's just over 100 bucks, $102, something like that. Um, and so you get some money back out of draft boxes and it, it's also a really good thing for the community they get really excited about it and having a accessible two dollar fifty cents three dollar pack that i could reorder from distribution and have that kind of guaranteed price point would actually be a really cool thing as a store too because i do think they would move especially with the cuteness of the cards in bloomboro and and people just wanted to kind of get that quick fix of opening something um but if if the store price for a box of these, if, let's pretend there's let's pretend there's uh, 36 packs in a box, and the store price is 90 bucks, like that's what I have to pay at Distro. There's no way that this will work um, in the value pack. So let me know what you're thinking. Hopefully you have yourself a fantastic day. Bloomberg is coming out. You can pre-order at GameGrove.gg. Uh, we're excited for it. Everyone seems to be really excited about the set. Um, the value thing just seems like kind of a joke. But have yourself a great day. Be kind to the people around you. Join the Discord server at kitchentabletcg.com. We'll see you again next video.